Human immunodeficiency virus currently infects over 38 million people worldwide, and despite decades of intensive research, still no cure has been found. There are, however, a number of drugs available to treat HIV infection, greatly slowing the progression of the disease and adding years of extra life to those infected. Unfortunately, continual use of these drugs also causes resistant strains of the virus to arise, rendering many of these same drugs useless. One of the targets of the antiviral drugs is the HIV protease enzyme. The research presented here shows how high performance computing is used to study the drug interaction against the HIV protease and how mutation in the virus leads to drug resistance. Protein molecules are far too small to be seen directly, so in order to understand their function and mechanisms on a molecular scale, we need to model them on a computer. The computer model of the protease shows how all the atoms are connected together and within the simulation forces are calculated to tell us how everything should move. Because the protein structure is difficult to visualize when all the atoms are shown, the structure is often represented with a cartoon backbone. Water molecules are also included to make the simulation more realistic but for clarity are usually not shown. The HIV protease itself is made up of two identical parts which come together to form the active enzyme. The function of the protease is to specifically cleave other HIV proteins crucial in HIV replication within its central active site. At the core of the active site are two aspartic acid residues spaced closely together these acidic residues cause a catalytic cleavage reaction to occur. The drugs designed to block the HIV protease from working properly have some similarities in the shape to the natural substrate, allowing them to fit into the active site. However, they have enough differences so that they're not cleaved by the catalytic aspartic acids and end up blocking the enzyme. Using the program NAMD and banks of computers, we can simulate how the drugs and enzymes interact together, giving important clues to how the drugs work and how the virus becomes resistant. HIV is constantly mutating and changing as it replicates. Most of these changes usually hinder the virus and quickly die out. However, if the patient's taking inhibitor drugs, some mutations to key areas in the enzyme can lead to resistance by changing how these drugs fit into the active site. For example, when a patient is given sequinavir, a specific mutation at position 48 from glycine to valine often occurs in the protease. The change to valine creates a steric clash which no longer allows the drug sequinavir to bind to the protease, though other drugs may still continue to work. By modeling the drugs in the natural and mutant forms of the protease enzymes, we hope to gain understanding into the resistant mechanisms of the virus. A better understanding of these interactions will allow doctors to change the drugs of their HIV patients in response to arising mutants, while hopefully minimizing the emergence of new multi-drug resistant strains.